So, we are into our concluding lecture of this particular module which deals with the virial equation of state. Uh, we have started with the virial equation of state for monoatomic gases because that is the easiest to treat and then we have also discussed the irreducible integrals. We have seen beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 henceforth and then as we have gone through the other lectures, we have derived a expression for the configurational integral and then finally, the z term with respect to these integrals. Now, today what we will do in this lecture is because we have been studying about monoatomic gas, now is the time to study about polyatomic gas, but we would not touch this polyatomic gases in detail because they have this irreducible integral which is highly cumbersome, they are multidimensional integrals because as we see there is an additional parameter that is we will see soon what is that parameter and then we will see some problems. So, today's lecture is about thermodynamic properties from virial equation. So, what we will focus is on the polyatomic molecules. Okay. So, only issue is in monoatomic gases the separation distance between two atoms were the only parameter. Now, here what it is the atom may not be spherical, it may not be totally spherical. So, what you do is you have to write some vectors to describe this particular atom that is, is to account for its non-sphericity. So, it means the orientation of the atom comes into the picture. So, additionally the interatomic distance plus the orientation of this particular atom, so the additional parameters. So, that is the difference. Then once we derive that expression, then we move ahead and obtain the thermodynamic properties and we then we see some very basic problems which we relate with chemical engineering. We will not take some much more uh, complicated problems related to these integrals because that will take a lot of time and we cannot ensure that uh, we can do that without this analytical equation we have to be solved numerically. So, we will see some very simple problems. So, now, for the polyatomic molecules, the all the expressions will be the same. So, whatever the way we have derived for different integrals beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, they will be the same analogy will hold, but the form of beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 will be different because there will be an additional parameter that is the relating to the orientation of the atom. So, we know that these cluster functions as I just told you are multidimensional over separation distance and now it will be additional, there will be a relative orientation. So, not all atoms are spherical, so it will have some orientation. This orientation, how do you describe it? You describe it with some vectors, we will see that. So, if we assume that none of the internal energy modes is affected with the interaction of the particles, so we will get the overall ln q, that is if we write the partition function of such monoatomic gases converted to polyatomic gases, so we are moving towards polyatomic. So, we will have an expression which is equal to, I write the logarithmic term of q indicating we are talking about n number of polyatomic gases. So, that will be equal to ln of, you have a bracket, you will have the translational mode as it is 2 pi m k t by h square okay, like before to the power of 3 n by 2. Okay. Then q internal to the power of n, q internal to the power of n. So, this will be a function of temperature and then the absolute value of z, this expression of z we have already defined that holds true for polyatomic gases divided by n factorial. So, what is the difference here? In the case of monoatomic, this term did not exist. Q internal. So, it means that in the case of monoatomic gas, we can say that the Q internal is nothing but the electronic energy states of the atom. It is the electronic energy states of the atom, but in the case of polyatomic, it will include the rotational and vibrational energy modes too. So, this rotational and vibrational energy mode you must be aware these are all dependent upon theta r and theta b that is theta r is the rotational temperature and the vibrational temperature. One is the for microwave spectroscopy, another one can be obtained from the FTIR that is infrared spectroscopy. So, this is the difference. So, we have this particular property which is the partition function of a single atom for internal modes 
and we are also assuming that this internal energy mode is unaffected with the interaction of. So, the way the molecules interact or the atoms interact, it is not affected by that. So, it will have a fixed value. And this was all about the polyatomic gases. So, as I have just now told that the polyatomic gases are uh, not totally, you know, they are not spherically symmetric. So, if that they are not spherically symmetric, what are those? How do we look like that beta 1? What will be the beta 1 expression? So, if you just want to look at some of the expressions for beta 1, the beta 1 here will be, there is no derivation involved, it will be much more cumbersome and want to put you into pain into those expressions. So, you can learn from this expression which is direct, it is evaluated across the volume integral, then e to the power of minus u r. Now, I will introduce here two vectors omega 1 and omega 2. So, now it is a function of omega 1, omega 2 as well by k t minus 1. Okay. This is the expression for beta 1 and then obviously, since you have converted r square dr and then again d omega 1, these are the vectors divided by make it consistent, it will be this omega 1. Okay. So, this is the expression. So, here the vector, this vector when I have written it is referred to this omega vector. Omega vector describing the orientation of the molecule in space. So, if you have a linear molecule, it will have two angles. If you have a non-linear molecule, it will have three angles. So, angle means let us say you have atom, so another atom is there. So, how do you write out the orientation of one atom with respect to the other atom? So, if it is linear, you know they are connected linearly, so you just need to mention the omega 1. So, in this case here omega 1, that will be two angles and then if it is a third atom is there, so what you have is you have need to also specify what is the, let us say you have studied all those things, angles, dihedrals. So, it is something like that, you have a dihedral angle also. So, once you provide the dihedral angle, the atom gets fixed in the space, that is what we do that. So, now if you do that, uh, we again uh, reach the same expression. So, you will have this expression P equal to so, if this is the q which we have defined earlier, so again you can describe what is p here from this expression. This is a universal expression. So, this will be again you take the values of the previous case what we have done that is if you recollect we obtain the value of z. So, that value of z you can write down, uh, okay, I may write down here. So, p is equal to, we have already found out this expression from the previous lecture just want to repeat it for your convenience. So, this is actually a bracket, so should not be confused with this one. So, plus b of j plus 1 into rho j, rho to the power of j. Okay. And uh, what is that expression? That is, you know that b j plus 1 equals to minus of j by j plus 1 into beta j, beta j. Okay. So, this is the two definition. So, with that q which we have written earlier slide, you do a derivative with respect to v. If you do that, so we have rho terms here. So, if you just simplify those expression, you will get rho k t, rho k t into 1 minus summation of j goes to 1 rho j j by j plus 1 into beta j. Okay. This is the expression you get. Okay. So, I have replaced this bj1 with this expression here. I can replace it. So, everything becomes in terms of beta because that is what we were used to defining beta 1, beta 2, beta 3. b1, b2, b3 are from the actual virial coefficients and beta 1, beta 2 are the integral that is the irreducible integral. So, let us write, I have written everything in terms of irreducible integral. So, simplify it further and then you write in terms of again back to one plus 
summation of j goes to 1 and rho j into plus 1 this is the expression okay because this minus signs gets cancels out with the minus sign what b j plus 1 is there so this is the expression you do that you will get this one as a expression for pressure so what you have is finally let us see what is the b2 then what does the expression for b2 looks like so for this expression for b2 in the case of polyatomic molecule it will look like because i have already discussed the integral beta 1 so let me write the expression for b2 in that case so it will be minus 2 pi into triple summation to infinity e to the power of minus u r omega 1 then omega 2 by kt minus 1 r square g omega 2 Okay. This is the form of B2T. So, you see it is very complicated in nature. So, this type of integrals, but it is solvable. So, you have to have good knowledge of the mathematics to evaluate this type of integral and this type of integral can be evaluated. You have the various packages such as Mathematica. You can use those packages and evaluate these types of integrals. So, you have some value of B2 that is the first virial coefficient. So, now the now I have an expression to write the overall partition function of ln q. So, ln q will be then equal to from the, from the earlier expression it will be 3n by 2 ln of 2 pi m k t by h square okay, plus n ln of q internal plus ln of v n minus then summation j n into rho j by j into b j plus 1 minus ln of n. So, this is the expression which we have obtained from the previous terms where we have defined the q. So, here this term is an additional term though it includes the internal energy modes that is vibration and rotation and the things everything remains the same as for monoatomic gases because polyatomic gases are those which are found in most in nature because the bond connection is always there. So, we try to look up this expression. So, we are not going to the details of this description. So, we will take this expression L and Q as a starting point for the derivation of thermodynamic properties. Then we will apply the same expression. So, what you have for internal energy, enthalpy, entropy, specific heats, all those similar expression what we did for monoatomic gas. So, we start with the internal energy first. So, in this case you know uh, just I do not need not to mention, but still we can mention this u is you know in the case of canonical partition function u and v t. the canonical partition function is equal to you have k t square dou l n q by dou t okay, n v. So, now you take the l n q expression from the previous slide and do a derivative with respect to temperature. So, if you do that you will get pretty simpler to do because most of the things are not defined in terms of temperature you just do it. So, you will get 3 by 2 t and the entire description and derivation is there in the book of Sandler. Because now this L n q of internal will be a function of temperature, I will write d t here. Okay. This and then you will have a term which is equal to rho j by j, rho j upon j and then d b j plus 1. Since this B values are function of temperature, you will have an expression with respect to temperature. So, this completes the derivative term. Now, what you do simplify this term further. So, it will be 3 n k t by 2 plus n k t t square into d 
ln of q this thing minus nkt square then you have summation of rho j by j then the derivative of the virial coefficient with respect to temperature this is the expression okay now this part is nothing but what is this this is nothing but uig it means this is the internal energy at ideal case because all these terms is similar to a monoatomic gas this is for ideal case the term which is the third term which is coming is due to the non ideality or with the real aspect of the gas so i can combine the first two terms as uig and write it take it to the left hand side so you get u by minus uig equals to minus of n k t square summation rho j by j d of b j plus 1 then d t. So, you see now we have got an expression for internal energy. What is that? The internal energy this is also if you notice is nothing but the departure function what you have studied in classical thermodynamics the departure functions but in our case we wrote the departure function in terms of derivative of pressure volume and temperature but in this case they are writing it in terms of derivative of the varial coefficients so these two are hence related to each other so for evaluating this expression we need to know uh, analytical expression for virial coefficients so just important fact which has to be mentioned this b is per molecular basis per molecule but per molecule we do not treat the gases, we always treat gases per mole basis. So, in this case you have to multiply by Avogadro's number. So, that is why they have a symbol like this which is nothing but Avogadro's number into Bj. Okay. So, this is the symbol which we use for per mole basis. So, if it is like this I will be writing it, I will just put a dash here, it will be n t minus u of ig dash here implies it is per mole basis nt by minus rt square then summation of nj by j now instead of capital b i will write this type of b so this is different huh? not capital b so here your n is your molar density ok this will be your molar density. So, now we have an expression in terms of per mole basis ok. So, let us look up the other energy modes let us see entropy again we will uh, follow the same expression what we got from the monoatomic gas K L and Q plus k t into dou l n q by dou t same expression. So, if you do that you will get something like this you will have uh, well I am not writing the entire expression you can do that. So, anyway if you do this expression it will be n k l n q I am putting the expression for l n q from the first slide. I do not know the num number of slides, the previous slides. I just put these numbers here n k ln of 2 pi m k t by h square. Please try to do yourself also by 3 by 2. Okay, this is there. Then you have a term plus n k ln v. I am just putting L and Q and then again taking the derivative of this with respect to temperature inserting in this particular expression and simplifying. So, if I do that this is another term is minus N K summation I then the rho j densities then B j plus 1 then j then plus N K T D L N. plus 3k by 2n minus nkt then uh, you have the summation across all j you have rho j 
to the power of j by j equal to db the derivatives of the set to temperature this is the entire expression try to simplify this further if you simplify this further so we were left with some term which is equal to this term most of the terms more or less they will get out cancelled so if these are cancelled so what you are have is finally effective term will be consisting only of the ideal gas term so you will be having expression corresponding to s n v t which is equal to s i g of n v t in case of ideal gas then minus n k t by summation of j rho j by j into d b j plus 1 by d t ok this is the expression you will get or I can write down s minus s i g by n k I keep n k here so it will be minus t into this so it will be rho j by j b b j plus 1 by d t ok and if I want to write in terms of because these were all in terms of molecule basis if I write in terms of mole basis volume gets fixed so I will write here s by s bar of i g by n t by r equals to minus t summation of j n j by j to d of now I will write some j bit differently because now it is per mole basis ok capital B is per molecule basis and italics B is per mole basis so this is the expression for entropy I have not done the calculation please do the calculation yourself do the ln q do derivative with respect to ln q and c that will cancel out you will be having only this last term so this was about the entropy now or the Helmholtz free function is very easy to do there are two ways of doing it either you find out a equals to h minus t s in that manner or you can find out uh, your h Helmholtz free function a equal to minus k t l n q whichever way you want to find you can do it. So for example if I write down this expression a is equal to u minus t s this is the easiest way of doing it. So it means what I will write here is so u you know what is this u you substitute the value of u and s what we wrote earlier so in this case what will you write here just to mention one point u minus u i g we have got a term so u will be the i g term plus the term which we have just now obtained similarly s will be s of i g term plus the term from the previous slide substitute all the values simplify it you will get a equals to a i j you will have a term which is equal to i g of n v t which is a function of n v t anyway both these are functions of a of n v t you know it will try to minimize the Helmholtz free function in the case of n v t n symbol plus you will have is simply n k t of rho j b j plus 1 by j ok or in terms of mole I will put a constant here I take this to the left hand side i g value and write in terms of mole so it will be simply equal to what I do n into k is r so r into t I will just divide it by RT and then what I will have is equal to in terms of molar density I can write instead of normal density divide by moles it will be molar density so molar density into B so this will not capital B now this will be per mole basis Bj plus 1 plus G so this is it you will also have a similar expression if you do minus KT ln Q uh, substitute the value of ln q from the previous slide you will again get a similar expression like this so either way you are able to get so this is uh, one part of the solution or you can get this part either way you will get the same answer okay so this was about the helmholtz free function 
let us go to the chemical potential. So, chemical potential you know is the derivative of the Helmholtz free function. So, q mu of mu of n v t I can write down the derivative of the Helmholtz free function d a by d n derivative of this function this is the temperature and volume. So, this is nothing but mu of i g by n v t plus dou of dou n because you will have the term from the previous slide mu i g you will have some term later mu i g plus dou i dou n uh, what I am writing here is k t I am just putting the terms from the previous slide instead of density I am writing number of molecules per unit volume v j because you need to do a derivative with respect to n. So, that is why I am writing in terms of number of molecules I am not I am writing in terms of per molecule basis this expression okay. or it will be mu of i g n v t then plus k t summation of you do this derivative for the second term it will be j plus 1 of n j by v j b of j plus 1 by j this is the expression. So, if we suppose for any ideal gas at any pressure p we can write this expression you must be knowing for the ideal gas any temperature and pressure I can relate it to the ideal to some reference pressure p is zero which is usually one atmosphere plus a term which is equal to relates the pressure effect p by p zero. So, in this manner what I will do I will just replace this mu i g in this expression. So, what I will get is mu of t p. So, it will be mu i g of t of p 0 plus k t ln of p by p 0 then this term which is equal to k t summation of j plus 1 n j by v j into b j plus 1 by j this is the term entire term. Now, what you do is uh, you simplify these terms fugacity you know what is the fugacity fugacity I can write down in this manner for a real gas because that is what we are concerned that is nothing but mu i g temperature of P naught plus R t ln of the fugacity at a temperature and pressure to P naught ok. Now, what you do is uh, you substitute this expression mu t p here you express this expression let us suppose this equation 3 is equation 4. So, you substitute equation 4 in terms of equation 3 and then simplify. So, our idea is to find a expression f as a function of certain term that is pressure let us see how we write it. So, if you see this particular term f equal to p into e to the power of summation j plus 1 rho j b j plus 1 by j p into exponential. If you see these will be the terms if you write down properly 3 by 2 rho square b 3 4 by 3. So, what I have done what I have done is this particular term rho j into b j plus 1 into j I have expanded here in this way ok. So, because it is j plus 1. So, j equal to 1 means it is 2 rho and rho to the power of 1 and b 2 by j equal to 1. So, this is equal to j equal to 1. This will be equal to j equal to 2. This will be equal to j equal to 3. This is equation. But the problem is figure city is the power city is density is not the most useful ok. Usually the pressure is known, but not the density because density nobody measures because density you know you have to know other intensive property pressure is always known. So, it is the other way around. So, what we do is we solve the volumetric equation of state for density for a given temperature and pressure. So, from the equation of state you find rho and then we calculate the density and then we use that density. So, we calculate density from the equation of state and then use the density here to find the expression for fugacity that is the way you do it. 
So enthalpy, so enthalpy is very straightforward. You can write this H is equal to U plus PV. Okay, write H is equal to U plus PV. So U is something uh, you can write down from the previous expression. So H becomes equals to, so it will be U minus UIG plus some term. So you write U equal to UIG plus that term. So I am writing that UIG, so it will be plus means it will be a negative sign will be there. So this is the negative sign and what I will do, I will now like expand it. So whatever the summation term is there, I have expanded it rho into dv2 by dt plus half into rho square dv3 by dt plus 1 by 3 into rho cube by dv4 by dt plus plus nkt. So, PV is equal to ZNKT. So, now I am replacing the value of Z here. So, NKT should be there already and then the value of that is P. So, I am just replaced with P because volume we also already know. So, I will write the P expression. So, P expression will be NKT into 1 plus rho B2 plus rho square B3 plus rho cube B4. Okay. I am writing the value of the pressure. Okay. This is the expression. Okay. Now, just some more simplification is required. So, this will be Uig plus Nkt. So, I will just combine these two terms. Okay. Take Nkt common. If you take Nkt common, what do you get inside? So, what in the inside from the second and third term, if I take common, so I can write down in terms of a series expansion in rho b2 minus t db2 by dt plus rho square into b3 minus. So, rho square is already there. So, here 1 by 2 into db3 by dt minus t minus t because you have rho square here already rho square 1 here. So, you that take care. So, minus t into db3 by dt plus, so this is the expression. So, now what you have is another term. So, this Uig minus Nkt is, NKT is already there. So, plus Nkt. So, this becomes H of H becomes then equals to Hig. We have a term which is put to the ideal gas. So, there will be an Nkt term here. So, this Nkt term is coming due to the fact so, there will be an additional NKT term here. So, what I have done is this UIG plus NKT is equal to HIG. Okay. Then, uh, when you do that, uh, so you will be having terms of HIG and then remaining is this term. So, this will be as it is NKT rho of B2 minus T B2 by DT plus rho square of B3 minus T b3 by dt plus okay so you can write here that uh, hig this is for ideal gas what will be the enthalpy enthalpy is nothing but uig plus nkt okay this is the expression so that's why i have written in terms of hig or i can write down h minus hig so i can take nkt common here so enthalpy will be equal to rho into b2 minus t b2 by dt plus rho square into b3 minus t d b3 by dt plus this. So, this is the way you evaluate the enthalpy departure. Okay. So, now let us move ahead and see now this actually what it does is it concludes all the expressions for the thermodynamic properties. We have done it for the internal energy, for the Helmholtz free function, for the specific heat we can always uh, calculate if we use the original departure equation. 
then we have also used the expression for enthalpy. So now let us see where do we use it, okay fine we are finding this video equation of state, where is the usage? So as you know this usage is much more pronounced at higher pressures. For example, we will see an example of uh, argon gas here which is above its critical point. So this argon you know is a non-associating gas. Let us say if I want to uh, have pressure, let us suppose this is the unit of pressure atmospheres, okay. Let us suppose it is 1 bar, at 1 bar this 1 plus if I take the first term of the video equation the expression is 1 is 1 minus minus 0 0.0064 not much of significance because it is not much. So, in this case this B3 rho square the second term is close to 0, it is close to 0, I will write here plus 0, 0.00, okay. So, it means uh, you do not have any term which is remaining, so term is left. So, this term is nothing but, so if I want to write this term, so this term will be P by rho k t, okay. This will be P by rho k t, the terms here which I am writing is P by rho k t. So, the total value is thus becomes, if I take the first video coefficient, the total value will be 0 0.99936 value, 0 0.9936. Now, let us increase the pressure, let us go with 100 bars, let us see what is the effect. So, P by rho k t is values or if I take the first video coefficient, it will be close to 1 minus 0 0.06754 and if I neglect this, so I have to add this particular term, it is close to plus 0 0.02127. So, if you do not take this term, sec the second or third virial coefficient, if you do not take the third virial coefficient, you are missing out on this term, okay. So, it means if I add this to here, if I add this term with 1 minus this, so the answer will be, if you see the answer will be 0 0.95337, so it will be 0. So, there will be some remainder term, it means 0 0.00036, okay. So, what is this remainder term means? If I add this plus this, if I add this plus this, it will be 0 0.00036. So, it means I am missing out this value from the actual expression. So, this value divided on the actual expression, if you take what is that actual expression, this will be 0 0.95337, point. So, I am away from the target, so this is the total value, this is the total value. So, this is not total value, this is the remainder, this is the remainder term. So, remainder term if you are taking at simple 1 atmosphere pressure for a gas such as argon there is no remainder term. In the case of when you are taking for 100 atmosphere the remainder term will be 0 point minus of 0 0.00036. So, this term is neglected basically. So, if you subtract this from this, this term is neglected. Okay. And this term will go on higher when you go to 1000 bars. If you go for 1000 bars, then you have to subtract a good amount. It is from the ideal guess, you have to subtract close to this much value. Okay. So, and uh, if you take the third video coefficient, you have to add another 0 0.68788. Okay. Now, add this term and this term. So, it means the remainder which you are losing out is plus 0 0.37272. So, the actual value is 1.67616. So, suppose it means that if at 1000 bars, if you only take the second video coefficient, 
you will have a incorrect results because at that point you will get 0.67 okay well, that is not the answer you have to add this and then you have to add this part to this expression so it will be 1.67 so almost a huge deviation is seen as you go higher and higher in terms of pressure so error larger for gases below their critical points and significantly more or less why we use visual coefficient at high pressure is because the error are larger for gases below their critical points and significantly greater for a gas in which association occurs by hydrogen bonding significant error is there when using a truncated visual expression so if you use a truncated visual coefficient if you use till b2 you see th this is the remainder term so for one bar nothing this much term no, it is not a problem, but for higher pressure for 100 bar you are losing out in this term and for 1000 bar you are losing out in this term. So, this causes a lot of error that is why the significance of virial equation of state comes into the picture. So, the truncated term will not be highly affected on those mixtures which are strong hydrogen bonding fluids such as hydrogen fluoride and to a lesser extent for acetic acid, methanol and water. Okay. So, this actually completes our part now we will use us two small problems. So, here I have asked you to find out the expressions for the departure function for V u minus U i g and C v plus C y g for a fluid described by the virial equation of state with only the second virial coefficient. So, this is very simple to do. You, so, you know you write the ideal gas law, it will be P v upon R t equal to 1 plus this is we are writing till the 1 plus V t by V. Okay, We are writing like this or I can write down as P equals to R t by V plus R t which is B as a function of t by V square. Okay. Now, we can use simple uh, departure function U i g is equal to you do a departure function. So, you go from a uh, infinite value to a certain value V bar at that temperature. So, this you have studied this is can be written as D of dou P by dou T V bar minus P into D V. Okay, This term. Now, what you do? You take the derivative of the pressure from expression 1 and insert in expression 2. So, if you do that, so dou P by dou T from 1, 1 what is it? Dou P by dou T from 1 it is nothing but you do the temperature derivative of this expression R upon V square by T bus plus B T with respect to temperature I did. Okay. So, this term you should substitute this dou P by dou T term in this U. So, it becomes U minus U i g equals to, so you will have R T by V plus R T by V square so, I am substituting this value T B by D T plus B. So, I am not writing B as a function of temperature, it is understood. Then you write the minus the P value. So, P is R T V minus R T B by V square into T V. So, this is the entire term you get by integral of this term. So, you can put the limits here V goes from infinity to V temperature variable. So, if you do that you will get u minus u i g is equal to r t square because r t by v and r t by v will cancel out. So, what you get is r t square v square by d of b by d t of d v. Do the integration correctly you will get u by u i g is equals to minus r t square by v into d b t 
dv by dt. So, it is the simplest expression for getting the departure function for internal energy change minus rt square by v. I just did the integral. Likewise, you can also find out for cv. So, cv minus cvig, cv minus cvig is equals to you will have same way you can I can write down in terms of departure function as dou T p by dou T square into d v. So, you evaluate evaluate dou T p by dou T square dou p by dou T already we have done in the previous case for internal energy you do it again for the temperature. So, you will get dou T p by dou T square equals to r by v square by into t into d square b by dt square into 2 into db by dt. Okay. So, you substitute this expression in this first term substitute in A you will get C v minus C v i g again you will get v equal to infinity to v. So, r t upon v square into t into d square b t by d t square plus 2 d b by d t by d v. Do the integration correctly from infinity to v you will get equals to minus r t by v by t into t square b by d t square plus 2 into d b by d t. So, this is the expression for C v minus C g. So, you write the expression in terms of departure function evaluate d p by d t and again do the double derivative d 2 p by d t square uh, write the expression for d 2 p by d t square and do the derivative correctly. Just we will take another problem. So, here the problem is since pressure is more easily measured than density it is sometimes more convenient to use a virial equation state virial expansion in terms of pressure. So, this is the expression they have used relate the virial coefficient as above to the coefficients of V in the actual virial expansion. So, here what we will do is we will uh, we know that we can write P as equal to we write P as here P is equal to rho k t by B 2 into rho of k t that is square k t plus B 3 rho cube k t. This is the virial expansion we know, this is the virial expansion we know. In terms of pressure if I want to write out, so I can also write in 1 plus like this let us write like this. B 3 into B square plus so, I am writing in terms of, so instead of rho we are writing in terms of pressure, this pressure. So, I will have some because we the way I wrote here it is B 2. So, B 3 like that I will write the variable coefficient in terms of P by rho k t, but in the series expansion of pressure. Now, my question is how do P 2 and B 2 star or B 3 star and B 3 relate to each other? We will see that. So, you just substitute the expression of in the p by rho k t, you substitute the expression of p everywhere wherever we have written by the expression. So, it was b 2 star into p. So, in the case of p I will write rho k t plus b 2 into rho square k t plus b 3 into rho cube k t. Okay. Then you will have B 3 dash then again rho k t plus B 2 into rho square k t plus B 3 into rho cube k t then plus dot dot dot. So, whatever the future terms. So, now what you do you classify or you segregate this expression. So, if you segregate this expression you will get 1 plus B 2 star rho k t plus. So, if I want to collect all the terms together it will be by rho k t plus 
you will have B2 terms rho square kt plus this and then so in this case it is it should be square here because it was p square so this is p this is p square so it will be squared this term we missed so if you do that uh, finally what we get is b3 star rho kt plus b2 of rho square kt plus in this manner so i'll just simplify the terms b2 star rho kt plus b2 star into b2 into rho square kt just segregate the terms of b3 star rho kt whole square like that so there are two terms of b2 star just combine them so if you combine them and relate it so and equate it with this terms because we know it is in the in the form of rho kt so rho kt so b2 star b2 square kt is equal to nothing but b2 because it is b2 1 plus b2 rho so b2 rho means this term b2 star kt is equal to b2 in this case or b2 thus become b2 star thus become b2 upon kt then b3 becomes b2 star b2 into kt plus b3 star into kt square so if you see we, what we did was that we found out this term b3 so what is this b3 term this is one which is rho kt square and this term these two terms we combined and we wrote in terms of b3 okay so we can write down then b3 star take the b3 star in this side so i'll have b3 minus this entire term goes to the left hand side minus b2 of whole square by kt square so this is the relation between the b2 star and the actual expression so this way you can also find out for b star okay i just combined the terms and wrote the analogy between b3 star and b3 so this is what uh, it completes this particular module and uh, you please go through the problems and derivation carefully and from next class what we will do is uh, we will uh, study the interatomic potential we have written the interatomic potential but we have not described what form this interatomic potential actually exists in nature so i am concluding my lecture here as usual i just go through this book the end of this chapter 7 where everything has been derived and expressed you try to do the derivation yourself then only you will understand all the terms i may be going wrong somewhere but your job is to go through these steps each and every methodically okay thank you mm -hmm.